Hey guys, it's Dale from TLDstudios.net and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to rig your game ready characters inside of Blender using AutoRig Pro, how to export from Blender, import into Unreal Engine 5, and how to set it up so you can move around in your environment. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so once your character is completely modeled, retopologized, and textured, uh, you can start moving forward to rigging your character. And I'm going to be using AutoRig Pro to rig this super quick export this out and import it into Unreal Engine and then we're going to obviously um, walk around the environment with our character. I haven't seen any videos uh, go over this yet so I thought it'd be pretty cool. So first I want to select my uh, character here and if you have multiple um, sections of your characters or if you have clothing as well just select them all. Um, what I want to do is press 1 to go to the front view, press N to bring up the side menu here and what I want to do is go to APR here and this is the Auto Rig Pro um, add-on and what I want to do is after you select your character go to get selected objects full body hit OK and now what this is done is um, we can now add our neck for our character so we can just choose the base of the neck which will be somewhere around here now we're going to add chin which will be here Add shoulders, and I want it to be around here. Add wrist, add spine root, and I'll start that somewhere here around the groin area. Add ankles, and then we can hit go. Just give it a second to um, generate our armature here. After we have our armature generated, which are the bones, we can go to match to rig. And this has generated the, the splines that control, but this isn't connected to our character yet. So if we try to move this, nothing's gonna happen because we now have to bind this rig to our character. And to do that, we wanna go to the skin tab now and what we want to do is um, go to object mode, select our character, and shift select the rig. And inside the Auto Rig Pro skin section, what we want to do is go down to bind. Click that, and it's going to bind the rig to the character. After that's done, give it some time. You can now select the rig, go from object mode to pose mode. And now if you move um, these points, you'll see the character is now going to move as it should. So let's go to rotate to see some of these. See our character is rigged the way it's supposed to be. Um, let's move the head, see everything turns the way it should. Cool, cool, cool. Everything's looking marvelous. And this is done greatly. And let's say if your character wasn't rigged the proper way, what you can do is, you know, go back and where you rig it, um, where you um, bind it together in the skin section, you can change the engine from heat maps to voxelized. And sometimes this gives you a better result. Uh, I use heat maps because it works, and I haven't had any issues um, with with it. But I've seen other people, and usually the voxelized helps in that way. So we have all this done. And let's say I rotated the bones and I want to bring everything back to the default position. I can press A to select the entire rig and press Alt, G, R, and S to reset the uh, rotation, position, and scale. And let's say I'm ready to export this out into Unreal. What I can do is switch from pose mode back to object mode and I can just drag select over the entire rig and the character. And what I can do is go to File, Export export auto rig pro fbx and now you want to save a directory so i'll just save this here as my desktop um, i'll make a new folder called test and i'll name this test underscore auto rig pro arp and there's a couple of things before you hit this auto rig pro fbx button you want to go to the right side and i'm going to be bringing this into Unreal. So instead of Unity, I'm going to select Unreal. And where it says Universal, we don't want that. We want the humanoid because this character is a humanoid character. 
Um, and I usually press uh, selected objects only, but you don't have to. Um, I'm going to do so, but um, fixed rig works as well, but sometimes you get a couple errors. So I like check rig um, selected. We don't need any of this stuff here. Um, what I will do is check UE4 legacy, uh, rename for Unreal Engine. Um, and we can do add IK bones as well as mannequin axes. So we have these four and basically we're done. So we can just hit auto rig pro FBX export. And as you see at the bottom character exported that worked perfectly. Now we're going to open up unreal. All right, guys, we're launching unreal now. And I'm going to go to games, go to the template uh, for the third person character. I'll create a uh, test project really quick. Test one, hit create. Here we are inside of UE5. We have the test template, which we can hit the play button at the top, walk around with our uh, UE5 mannequin, Quinn. Um, what we can do is hit escape to exit out. And here in the content browser at the bottom, what I want to just do here is go to characters, I'll right click, go to new folder, and I'll name this test underscore character. But you can name it whatever you want. This is just so I can identify, um, you know, what we just created. I'll double click to dive inside of that. And what I want to do is right click once again and go to the top where it says import to game characters test character. And I want to go to the directory where I stored that exported character from Blender. And I'll grab that, test ARP, hit open. And now before you hit import all or import, what you want to do is go towards the skeleton. Ensure you check SK Mannequin Skeleton because this is what we use to, um, you know, rig our character in Blender. And then we can just hit um, import all. And you're going to get this. Just hit the eggs. And we have our character here and we have the physics and the, um, the actual mesh. So what we can do is go to the content folder. You can either go to the top here or go to the left side and go to content. Um, go to characters or third person blueprints. And you want to double click this character here. And let's go to the viewport. Select the character which we start off in Unreal Engine 5 with. And where it says mesh here, what you want to do is grab the mesh that we brought in, which is the test ARP. And we have our character there. And also, I'll change the anim class, if need be, from ABP Quinn to, um, you can choose Manny as well, because that's the guy character. And you can go to the top left and compile this. After you compile that, what we can now do is exit out. And if you press play now, we have our character that we just rigged inside of Blender and everything's working as it should be. And um, if you guys want to see a video on how to import the textures, just let me know and I'll um, make that. I just don't want to waste my time if no one really needs to see that because this is just a, a, a quick tutorial. So hopefully if you guys enjoyed this and you liked it, give the video a thumbs up, comment, and share this with more people that you think um, this may be useful to. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.